Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson is presented by Actistetin, Adina Springs, Ashford Stud, BC2A Paste, Breeders' Cup, Claiborne Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityBets.com, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, Quillen Leather and Tack, Sally Horse Fans, Spendthrift Farm, and Windstar Farm. Hello everyone and welcome to Thoroughbred Week, featuring the first graded stakes action of 2015 for just turned three-year-olds, along with the rising California turf star and the grade two San Gabriel stakes. We begin at Laurel Park with the native dancer stakes. Storm and Monarco, the two to one favorite, Dave Rodman picks up the call. 49 seconds was the half mile, so two and a half furlongs left to go. And it's Chero who's been in front since the beginning. Chero, Cosmic Gold, Storm and Monarcos asks for a little more third. El Nawi is fourth in Turco, Bravo, and River Rush as they make the turn in for home. Cosmic Gold striking the lead with El Nawi. The presence on the outside, the 6 and 1, 14 flat. They're head to head, and El Nawi's got the momentum in the center of the track. Sheldon Russell setting down El Nawi, and El Nawi with a sudden burst of energy moving away in the last 16th of a mile in the Native Dancer Stakes for Shadwell Stable. El Nawi sharp to win. El Nawe romps to a seven and a quarter length victory over Turco Bravo. Sheldon Russell aboard the Keeneland Sells graduate in 145 and two. Regally bred El Nawe records his first stakes victory. The Karen McLaughlin trainee was last seen finishing sixth in the Queens County Stakes at Aqueduct. The five-year-old horse by Street Sense was bred in Kentucky by Sienna Farms and is a half-brother to multiple grade one stakes winner to honor and serve. A $500,000 Keeneland September yearling, El Nawi has earned $290,000 for Shadwell Stable. Phillies and Mayor sprinting down the hill at Santa Anita in the Great Two Monrovia Stakes. Velvet Mesquite, the 7-2 favorite, Trevor Denman has the call. Down the hill they come now, and out on the lead is two My Valentine by a length. Velvet Mesquite right there, second. Shrinking Violet tucked in third. Biorhythm on the far side. One more is in there. Gender Agenda sixth, only four lengths off the leaders. Judy in disguise on the outside. Then comes Warm Breeze, and behind that we have Wishing Gate. They come to the top of the lane now, and going on with it is two My Valentine hanging on. But here's Shrinking Violet at the rail, coming with a game run as well. Late run now from Heat Trap, going to be running on Gender Agenda down at the rail. On the outside, Sky Treasure comes late too. Shrinking Violet holding on. Shrinking Violet going to get there. Shrinking Violet won it. 10 to 1, Shrinking Violet, the winner by a length and a quarter over Heat Trap. Kent DeSormo aboard the Keeneland Cells graduate in 112 and 2. Shrinking Violet gets her first victory since taking the Lightning City Stakes at Tampa Bay Downs nearly a year ago. The Wesley Ward trainee returned from an eight-month layoff to finish third in the holiday inaugural stakes at Turfway Park. The five-year-old mare by Congaree was bred in Kentucky by Ashbrittle Farm and was a $4,000 Keeneland November weanling. Shrinking Violet has earned nearly $395,000 racing for Ward. Kit DeSormo with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Fans, the safest way to the winter circle. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with three-year-old fillies featured in this segment. We begin on the turf at Gulfstream Park with the Ginger Brew Stakes. Right on Kitten, the 9-5 to five favorite, Larry Comas has the call. They continue their way up the back stretch. And on the inside, it is Sunday Sonnet. And on the outside, Divine Aida. These two went 48 and 1 for a half mile. They're side by side into the turn. And then it's Cardinal Cove and Nikki's Brown Miss. And she's going well. Nikki's Brown Miss up to third. She's going to angle to the outside of the top two. And Divine Aida has taken the lead. Jesus Rios and Divine Aida to the front. Sunday Sonnet on the inside. Here comes on the far outside, Nikki's Brown Miss. And she's closing in with Divine Aida to catch. Divine Aida, Nikki's Brown Miss on the outside. Then it's Sunday Sonnet hanging in there at the rail, but it's Divine Aida. Divine Aida and Jesus Rios win the ginger brew. Divine Aida draws off to defeat Nikki's Brown Miss by three and a half lengths. Sunday Sonnet third for a sweep by Keeneland Sells graduates. Jesus Rios, the winning jockey in 131 and 1. 
Divine Aida won her last two starts at Gulfstream Park West. The Ramon Morales trainee is two for two at the distance of seven and a half for longs on turf. The three-year-old filly by Unbridled Song was bred in Kentucky by Alpha Delta Stables. A $200,000 Keenan September yearling and a $120,000 OBS June two-year-old, Divine Aida has earned $109,000 for Stronic Stables. The Biederman Real Estate Featured Listing this week features a state-of-the-art stallion barn and breeding shed with an attached 3,000 square foot office or residence. Log on to BiedermanRealEstate.com to see all our current listings. Next from Gulfstream Park, the Grade 3 Old Hat Stakes. Fashion alert, the 2 to 5 favorite. Once again, here's Larry Comas. Now, Fashion Alert is going to squeeze her way up in between horses as they race past the half mile pole. Concealed with a kiss, Fashion Alert got through, and on the outside, it's a Cotty's Phaeton, and they went 22 and 3 for the quarter. And then it's our Sassy Last just behind them running in fourth. Break of another three back to Jamie's Dancer, and then it's Slava, and at the back, Temperament Patty around the far turn. On the outside, a Cotty's Phaeton, Fashion Alert. All out in between horses in second. And then it's concealed with a kiss cutting the corner. And our sassy lass on the outside in fashion alert. Just steadied out of that pack. It is back running in fourth now. As they come into the final furlong. It is a Cotty's Phaeton. And our sassy lass and the two of them are heads apart with a 16th to go. A Cotty's Phaeton on the inside. Our sassy lass on the outside. Coming down to the line. A Cotty's Phaeton has won. 7-1, to one, a Cotty's Phaeton by Darby Dan Farm Stag and Tail of Ecotti defeats our sassy last by half a length. Odds on favorite Fashion Alert well back in the show spot after a troubled trip. Louise Saya is aboard in 110 flat. Winner of her first two starts over the track, Ecotti's Phaeton finished sixth in the Our Dear Peggy Stakes on turf. Back on the main track for her latest, the Bill Kaplan trainee was runner-up in the House Party Stakes at Gulfstream Park West. The filly was bred in Kentucky by Haymarket Farm at Mockmer Hall. A $50,000 OBS August yearling, Ikari's Phaeton has earned $118,000 for Phaedra's Flights, LLC. Darby Dan Farm Stallion tell of Ikari's first crop three-year-olds already include Ikari's Phaeton, the fast-rising three-year-old filly who captured the grade three old hat sticks. Tell of Ikari has starred 14 winners to date from his debut crop and is among North America's leading second crop sires in 2015. To Santa Anita for the Grade 2 Santa Inez Stakes. Like the city, the 5 2 favorite, Trevor Denman has the call. And away they go. Sadur flies out of the inside gate and Sadur goes straight to the lead. Lady Lake on the far side, XOXO up between those two. Light the city in the gold cap is right there too. And then we come back to callback in fifth. Morning Coffee's in the sixth spot, giving them five length start. Behind that comes Henny the Love Penny. Now there goes Rat-a-Tap-Tap -tap on the far side. Rat-a-Tap-Tap's -tap -tap's gonna have to go wide, but only three off the leaders. Last a long way is Conquest Hollenate. Into the turn they go, and Sadur is the leader. Sadur leads it, XOXO in second. Light the city third. Along the inside comes Call Back. Lady Lake in the blue now having to be ridden along. On the far side, rat a tat tap is four off the leaders. Morning Coffee back of the leading group. And then four back to Henny the Love Penny. There's something wrong with Conquest Hollenate. Conquest Hollenate is eased. They come to the top of the lane now, and Sadur goes on. Sadur is sent for home, responds willingly, and it's Sadur in front. Call back in the orange cap, looms the danger. XOXO back in third. Sadur goes on strongly for the line, leads it by three lengths. Call back in second, but a huge performance from Sadur today. Sadur and Raphael Bejarano, very impressive. Sadur, the front running winner by two and a quarter lengths over callback. Raphael Bejarano aboard the Keeneland Sells graduate in 115 and 1. The Jerry Hollendorfer trainee was a two time stakes winner at two, including a five and a half length score in the Golden Gate debutante. The fully by elusive quality was bred in Ontario by Anderson Farms and Moret Farrell. Sadur has earned $262,000 for Regis Farms. The filly was consigned by Anderson Farms to the 2012 Keenan November sale, where she was purchased by Regis Farms for $130,000. Way to Santa Inez stakes player Sadur, the Keenan sales graduate of the week.
The Spendthrift Farm Stag of the Week is It's My Lucky Day. Millionaire winner of Saratoga's Grade 1 Woodward Stakes and a leading older horse of 2014. Visit Spendthrift's open house daily during the Keeneland January sale and inspect It's My Lucky Day and the rest of the 2015 Stag and Roster. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with the Grade 3 Jerome Stakes coming up in this segment. Three-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. We begin with turf three-year-olds at Gulfstream Park in the Grade 3 Dania Beach Stakes. Smoke'em Kitten, the 9 to 5 favorite, Larry Comless picks up the call. 47 and two half mile, and now it's Smoke'em Kitten who leads the way on the far turn by a length. And then it's Wayward Kitten in second. A lot is third to the outside. Behind them, mostly Mozart is in fourth. Trying to get going are Cronin the Barbarian and Night Prowler. They're coming to the top of the stretch. Smoke em, Kitten turning for home in front. Wayward Kitten a lot on the outside, closing the gap in third. Night Prowler fourth, trying to get going a lot. A lot has taken the lead. A lot in John Velasquez to the front. Night Prowler closing the gap strongly now on the outside. A lot in Night Prowler. Night Prowler a lot. Here's the wire. Night Prowler has won. Five to two, second choice. Night Prowler by Ashford Stud Stag and Giants Causeway gets up to defeat a lot by half a length. Javier Castellano, the leading rider by both wins and earnings in 2014, aboard in 130 and two. Night Prowler broke his maiden in his second start over the Belmont turf, then wrapped up his juvenile campaign with a close third place finish in the pulpit stakes at Gulfstream Park. The gelding was bred in Kentucky by his owner, Paul Pompa Jr. Night Prowler has earned $118,000. Chad Brown trains the winner. Bullet Train is a group winning three quarter brother to the great Frankel. His first foals are yearlings of 2015 and are outstanding. Contact Crestwood Farm to inquire about Bullet Train. Next from Gulfstream Park, three-year-old sprinters in the spectacular bid stakes. Ready for Rye, the 11 to 10 favorite. Again, here's Larry Comas. Up front, it's not me. Going along on the lead here, it's not me. Ran a 22 flat quarter and leads the way by a length and a half over ready for Rye in second. Then it's Barbados third, three lengths off the lead as they round the far turn. Big Family is next and then comes Tiscano. Toasting Master still about six lengths behind as they come to the top of the stretch. And ready for Rye draws up alongside of it's not me. But it's not me is still there at the top of the stretch. It's not me in front, ready for Rye, Barbados running a big one on the outside of them and Barbados is under a full head of steam. Barbados and Luis Saez have taken the lead leaving ready for Rye and the others behind. Barbados has won the spectacular bid. Six to one Barbados by Windstar Farm Stag and Spitestown draws off to defeat ready for Rye by three lengths. The second stakes victory on the card for Luis Saez. The three-time Keeneland Sells grad clocked in 109 and two. An impressive five-length maiden winner in his first start on dirt at Keeneland for Windstar Racing, Barbados was making his debut for Suzanne Stables, which purchased the racing prospect for $340,000 at the Keeneland November Seal. The colt was bred in Kentucky by Tommytown Thoroughbreds. Barbados has earned $113,000. Michael Tomlinson trains the winner. Three-year-olds running a mile at Gulfstream Park in the Mucho Macho Man Stakes. Mathuk, the 6-5 to five favorite. Once again, here's Larry Comas. A 23 flat first quarter up the back stretch, and Bluegrass Singer has taken over the lead. Bluegrass Singer in front, Juan and Bina three quarters of a length behind in second. Mathuk, the favorite, is third and just outside the leading pair with a half mile to go. And then it's Amy's flatter followed by Honest, and they went 44 and 4 for a half mile. And now they're going into the far turn. Bluegrass Singer is the leader. Now three quarters of a length in front with three furlongs to go. Mathuk second to the outside. Juan and Bina's third. Then it's Amy's flatter. Brother Bobo's got five lengths to make up. Honest is next, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. And it's Bluegrass Singer turning for home in front. Mathuk on the outside second. Amy's flatter cuts the corner in third, and then it's Brother Bobo, and they're into the stretch, and Bluegrass Singer is still going strong. Amy's flatter has moved up into second. Mathuk is back to third. Bluegrass Singer has the lead coming down to the wire. Bluegrass Singer and Javier Castellano in the Mucho Macho Man. 
Two to one second choice bluegrass singer holds off 13 to one Amy's flatter by a length and three quarters. Javier Castellano aboard the Keeneland Sales graduate in 135 and four. Stakes placed at two, the Marcus Vitale trainee was an impressive front running winner of an optional claimer over the track and trip in his two-year-old finale. The gelding by Bluegrass Cat was bred in Kentucky by Gaines Gentry Thoroughbreds and Hardy Thoroughbreds and was a $27,000 Kingland November weanling. Cross Sabres Farm purchased the winner for $28,000 as a two-year-old. Bluegrass Singer has earned nearly $120,000. To Aqueduct for the Grade 3 Jerome Stakes. El Kabir, the 7 to 5 favorite. John and Brielle has the call. And they're off. El Kabir broke well, then bobbled a bit right after the start. Ostralenker is going out for the lead with Accurate right there. NASA's three wide. El Kabir will be four wide going into the clubhouse turn. Just in behind the front runners, Mini Cosmo and Royal Berg. Now we are free is seventh with a five-length gap back to General Bellamy, who trails the field in eighth. And the field has reached the backstretch, the opening quarter mile over the good inner track in 23 and three-fifth seconds. Ostralenka is the leader here by a length over NASA. El Kabir in the clear on the outside in third. Accurate runs in fourth, about four and a half from the front. Royal Berg is in between horses. Now We Are Free is on the outside, and Mini Cosmo down at the rail, and it's a big break back to General Bellamy. The half went in 48 and two-fifth seconds. Ostralenka challenged here by NASA. They're heads apart for the lead, and the favorite, El Kabir, is right there in third, and now moving up, so three of them across. Ostralenka at the rail. NASA in between. El Kabir on the outside. Four lengths to Akaret in fourth. Farther back, it's Mini Cosmo in fifth. Three quarters in one thirteen and three. And the newly turned three-year-olds head for home in the Jerome. And here's El Kabir now to take over the lead. El Kabir's in front. NASA is running in second. Then Akaret. And Ostralenka, El Kabir, has built a three-length lead and just a sixteenth of the wire. And on this gray day at Aqueduct, it's the gray colt El Kabir to take the Jerome. El Kabir by Ashford Stud Stallion Scad Daddy easily defeats NASA by four and three-quarter lengths. The Florida bred under high weight of 122 pounds and CC Lopez in 144 and three. El Kabir concluded his juvenile campaign with a sharp front running score in the Grade 2 Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes. The current Kentucky Derby points leader is trained by John Tyrion over the second. One of several top classic prospects for Zayat Stables, El Kabir has earned nearly $389,000. The colt was bred in Florida by Russellwood Farm Incorporated and was a sales topping $250,000 OBS August yearly. Florida breads, race them or chase them. El Kabir paid $4.90 to win, and is the Malone's favorite of the week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's favorite steakhouse. Coming up, a rising California turf star. Time now for the feature race of the week, presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. To Santa Anita for the Great Two San Gabriel Stakes. Tom's tribute, the 8 to 5 favorite. Here's the call by Trevor Denman. And away they go. Big Bane Theory hopped away smoothly, one from the inside, an edge of reality down at the rail. On the outside, Sky Ring now been ridden along, wants the lead, so it looks like Sky Ring's going to go up to take over. On the outside, Tom's Tribute, he can't drop in yet, he's been caught wide, been in a good spot, right behind those leaders. Power Ped has the white cap, Patriotic and Proud, is only three and a half off them, they're not in a big hurry up front. Dynamic Sky races back second last, and Finnegan's Wake as the trailer, seven lengths would cover the lot. They head to the three-quarter pole, an edge of reality in front now by just about a length. Sky Ring is in second. Tom's Tribute has now dropped in on one off the rail, is in third, two lengths off the leaders. Big Bane Theory traveling well enough at the rail in fourth, and Power Pit is fifth. Then we come back to Patriotic and Proud, four and a half off those leaders. Just in behind that, Finnegan's Wake and Dynamic Sky just being patiently ridden at the back. Only seven lengths would cover the lot. They run past a half-mile pole, and it's still edge of reality, showing the way to Sky Ring. 
Tom's Tribute just biding his time in third. Tom's Tribute still has to go wide, but only a length off the lead. Big Bane Theory scrapes the paint, then power paired. Patriotic and proud, Finnegan's Wake and the trailer Dynamic Sky. They come into the top of the lane, and Sky Ring now joins Edge of Reality. These two turn for home together. Tom's Tribute in the orange cap comes to tackle. Big Bane Theory needs somewhere to go. Down the centre of the track, Power Ped is in with a shot. Dynamic Sky, nowhere to go. They come for home. Power Ped, Finnegan's Wake on the outside. Finnegan's Wake finishing like an express train. Tom's Tribute on the inside. Late run, Patriotic and Proud, but Finnegan's Wake. Finnegan's Wake has won it powerfully. Finnegan's Wake rallies from last to defeat Patriotic and Proud by a length. Victor Espinosa up in 148 and 1. Back to back graded stakes victories for Finnegan's Wake, who defeated Patriotic and Proud by a neck in the Grade 2 Hollywood Turf Cup. Winner of the Grade 3 Arlington Handicap last summer for Dale Romans, Finnegan's Wake was transferred to Peter Miller shortly thereafter. The six year old horse by Powers Court was bred in Kentucky by Jerry Crawford. Finnegan's Wake has earned $945,000 for Donegal Racing and Rockingham Ranch. We'll have the Grade 2 Senpus Qual Stakes for older horses and the Grade 3 Sham Stakes for three year olds next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week has been presented by Actistatin, Adena Springs, Ashford Stud, BC 2A Paste, Breeders Cup. Claiborne Farm, Darby Dan Farm, EmpireCityVets.com, Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association, Keeneland, Malone's, New York Thoroughbred Breeding and Development Fund, OCD Pellets, Old Colony Insurance Services, Paul Miller Ford, Quill and Leather and Pack, Sally Horse Vans, Spendthrift Farm, and Windstar Farm. Online at tbreadweek.com.